Hello everyone, welcome back. Let's talk a little bit today about uh, Russia, Ukraine, and Biden. Okay, Every time Biden gets on television, he keeps telling us that the Russian invasion of Ukraine is imminent. Okay, That's his big word, imminent. Um, and the, uh, the Russians are probably looking at him and saying, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Where is he getting all this shit from? Okay, uh, The Ukrainian president is like, please shut up. Okay, um, What's Biden really trying to do? Well, He's trying, he's hoping, he's absolutely hoping that the Russians will invade Ukraine, okay? Uh, he's pretty much doing everything to bait them to, to invade Ukraine, right? He's like, uh, you know, he's, he's, telling, he's saying it's imminent, as in there's nothing that he could possibly do to stop it, right? So he's putting that bait out there because he's hoping that if the Russians do invade Ukraine and there's some, you know, major war that breaks out over there, uh, it's going to take away the spotlight uh, from his failure of a presidency, okay? Uh, that's what he's hoping for. So uh, I think it's really sad that that he he needs Ukraine to be invaded by Russians uh, so that he won't look so bad or he thinks that he won't look so bad because, um, you know, the fact is that it doesn't matter what Biden says, right? The, 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 the Russians... They're going to do whatever they're going to do. They have absolutely no respect for Biden. They have absolutely no respect for the, for the American military leadership at this point. Okay. Um, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. Um, and I don't, I, I just don't think they, they're going to give any respect to Biden. Okay. So he's sitting there saying imminent, imminent invasion is imminent as in please invade, please invade because I need something to take away the attention from, from, from my, my disaster presidents, okay? And I think he's hoping that um, if they do invade, right, uh, you know, maybe at that point he might use some diplomacy uh, to maybe get the Russians to pull back a little bit uh, and then try to sell that as some type of a diplomatic victory, you know, or diplomatic achievement, okay? So I, I think that that's what Biden is looking to get out of uh, this hopeful, right? Because for him, for Biden, the Ukrainian, the, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is hopeful, okay? He's hoping that they'll invade. Now, in all this, I would love to hear from whatever uh, Colonel, uh, Sergeant, whatever his his rank is, right? Because it doesn't even matter. Vindman, right? Vindman. Uh, because he, uh, he made a big point about making sure that people were calling him by his uh, proper rank. I don't, I don't know what his proper rank is. Uh, his rank is, is shit. That's what his rank is. So shit, uh, shit Vindman um, that uh, um, was, was concerned, right, that, that, that uh, Trump was somehow going to sour the relationship between the United States uh, and Ukraine, okay? Um, I, I, I would love to hear how he feels now about Trump versus Biden, all right, um, because from what I understand, he did have some personal attachments uh, to Ukraine. Um, so, so I, I mean, I don't think that Vindman is responsible um, for the situation that that's happening. But he was certainly backing the wrong horse, right? He Vindman thought that that the Democrats, that the, if only the Democrats could get back into power, um, you know, the, the the situation with Ukraine and Russia would become would be so much better. Uh, well, the exact opposite has happened, okay? Uh, the Democrats in, in a leadership position are an absolute disaster, okay? Now, I'm not saying that Republicans are good, all right? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm just saying that, uh, let me say this, Republicans are bad, Democrats are way, way, way worse, okay? That's, that's, uh, how, that's what my position is. Ideally, right, what, I, what I'm hoping will happen, uh, because... The Democrats are, are, are going to continue to do worse over the next three years, right? They, if they screwed up this bad in just one year, the next three years, I think, are going to be progressively worse. So what I'm hoping is going to happen uh, in, uh, because we got in 2022, we got about 35 percent of the Senate that's up for re-election, uh, for, for election. Then I think in 2024, you got another 35 percent uh, of the Senate that's up for election. So... It is possible between the next two Senate elections that Republicans could get a supermajority. Okay, uh, in which case, if if they also if, if they also put a uh, a Republican president or conservative, let's not Republican, let's not say Republican. If they get a conservative uh, or let's not even say that, let's say constitutional. If we get a constitutional 
uh, president in 2024 uh, with with a Republican uh, supermajority, right, and then control the House, um, they could actually do some things like like close the border down, actually deport all the illegals that came in here, right? Um, you know, maybe uh, um, you know pass some real gun rights, right? Uh, push back against all the anti-gun laws that have been put on the books. Um, so that's what I'm kind of hoping. Uh, what I'm hoping will happen by 2024 is that the Democrat Party will be like a, a, a permanent minority party in the sense that like they're, they're never going to get more than 10 or 20 percent of, of, of a vote. Again, what I'm hoping is you'll have the Republicans uh, that are kind of left leaning, right, because because the Republicans are not right. You know, Republicans are not true conservatives. They're not true constitutionalists, right? They're really, they're kind of like in the middle left leaning. Democrats are way left. Okay, so I'm hoping Democrats become like a, 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 a 10, 20 percent minority party. And then it'll come down to the Republicans, um, maybe as a 40 percent party um, and, you know, for, and, or 45 percent party. And then you'll have the Libertarian Party, right, uh, as another 40, 45 percent party. So I'm hoping the Democrat Party disappears off of the, you know, disappears as a significant political party. And then going forward is the Republicans um, versus the Libertarians as the two main parties. Okay, so my thoughts on that. But I, I just wanted to share my thoughts with uh, Biden and his talk about that the Russian invasion in uh, of Ukraine is imminent, right? That's the big word, imminent. He keeps saying that every day. He's hoping, right? He's sitting in the basement like this with his fingers crossed, hoping that Putin will invade Ukraine uh, to take, you know, so he can say, hey, there's the bad guy over there. That's the bad guy, okay? Um, and then maybe he can, you know, uh, you know, if he can get the Russians to pull back a tiny little bit, he can say he can call that uh, a diplomatic victory, right? So, so that's what I think he's what Biden is trying to get out of this. So, uh, drop some comments below. Let me know what you think is going on. If you're not member my channel, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell button so you get notification and new videos I put up. Talk to you all soon.